I believe in America. America has made my fortune. And I raised my daughter in the American fashion. I gave her freedom, but I taught her never to dishonor her family. She found a boyfriend, not an Italian. She went to the movies with him, stayed out late. I didn't protest. Two months ago, he took her out for a drive with another boyfriend. They made her drink whiskey. And then they tried to take advantage of her. She resisted. She kept her honor. So they beat her like an animal. When I went to the hospital, her nose was broken. Her jaw was shattered, held together by wire. She couldn't even weep because of the pain. But I wept. Why did I weep? She was the light of my life. Beautiful girl. Now, she will never be beautiful again. Sorry. I, I went to the police like a good American. And these two boys were brought to trial. The judge sentenced them to three years in prison. Suspended sentence. Suspended sentence? They went free that very day. I stood in the courtroom like a fool. And those two bastards, they smiled at me. Then I said to my wife, for justice, we must go to Don Corleone. Why did you go to the police? Why did you not come to me first? What do you want of me? Tell me anything. But do what I beg you to do. What is that? That I cannot do. I'll give you anything you ask. Bonacera, we've known each other for many years. This is the first time you've come to me for my counsel, my help. I can't remember the last time you invited me to your house for a cup of coffee, even though my wife is the godmother to your only child. But let's be frank here. You never wanted my friendship. You didn't want to be in my debt. I didn't want to get into trouble. I understand. You found your paradise in America. You have a good trade. You've made a good living. The police, they protect you. There's courts of laws. You didn't need a friend in me. But now you come into my house and you say, Don Corleone, give me justice. But you don't ask with respect. You don't offer friendship. You don't even think to call me Godfather. Instead, you come into my house on the day my daughter is getting married and you ask me to do murder for money. I ask you for justice. That is not justice. Your daughter is still alive. Then they can suffer then, as she suffers. How much shall I pay you? <laughs> 